everyone, welcome, I'm Robert, and this is another playthrough of Heroes of Might and Magic 3, the board game. And uh, we're continuing with the uh, Long Live the Queen campaign, this is scenario number 2, Guardian Angels. And um, I've already set up uh, pretty much everything, uh, and I just want to mention uh, one thing I got wrong last time uh, when setting up the first scenario, is the scenario bonuses. So. Uh, actually, you don't get both the difficulty bonus and the scenario bonus, right? So that's something that I added to a pinned comment uh, in the first video, all right? So when doing the solo scenarios, uh, you skip the difficulty bonus and you choose a bonus from the ones offered by the scenario, okay? In this case, uh, it offered uh, this and I went with uh, adding a few salads to my army. Uh, so that's the starting army that it instructs you to get, and that's the bonus cell that I got, okay? And uh, another thing towards the end that uh, I uh, got uh, wrong was uh, what you get in between uh, scenarios, what you get to keep from your deck building, all right? Uh, so there we go, see, yeah. So if you follow these instructions, uh, I just didn't follow them uh, correctly the first time. But yeah, you uh, keep your statistic cards and your level one specialty, set them aside, and then uh, take out other specialty cards. And from the remainder, you choose five, all right? And these are the five that I chose from the last uh, scenario, okay? Uh, and I'll go ahead and add that to my deck, okay? And now, uh, one other difference uh, for this uh, second scenario is that uh, I've gone ahead and added uh, the expansion content that I have, okay? Uh, I don't have the Inferno expansion yet, uh, just a heads up, but uh, all the other card content uh, for the neutral uh, decks and the artifact ability and um, artifact ability and um, uh, spell decks, I've added all, all the expansion content that I have, okay, for extra variety. Uh, but uh, this scenario, uh, you need to bid uh, two uh, hero uh, armies, all right, before the uh, before uh, the end of the 10th round, right? At the end of the 10th round, if you haven't completed the scenario objective, you lose. So that's why I put the black cube there. Uh, and your hero doesn't go past level five. That's why I've put that black cube there as well. Uh, this time for this scenario, another big difference between this and the previous scenario is the use of the town board. So um, uh, in the last scenario, your, ta your town aspect, uh, it didn't bog you down with the details of you know, having to worry about building stuff for your town, but this scenario, it, it displays an important role, all right? Uh, so I've set up my uh, resource cubes here for income, uh, and uh, according to scenario setup, you do start with uh, the uh, bronze star uh, dwelling, all right? Uh, and uh, with that, I'll be able to recruit uh, bronze units, okay? Uh, now, uh, so yeah, you start with the, brown, uh, the bronze uh, dwelling, right? But I, I want to point out a detail. So uh, some um, um, building tiles, all right, or tokens are double-sided, all right? Uh, in this case, the blacksmith one is. Uh, most of them are just uh, a solid color, but this one is double-sided, which means that you can later upgrade it. So you do get the, the bronze dwelling, but uh, I can then have the option of paying this to upgrade it, all right? Uh, so don't make the mistake of uh, thinking that uh, you get um, the full dwelling uh, for the blacksmith ability. It's just the uh, the scenario only specifies that you get the bronze dwelling, uh, not the full building with the blacksmith ability. All right. Uh, so just a heads up. Uh, uh, just a heads up with that. Uh, all right. Uh, and uh, with that, it, it's pretty much set up. And the town board, just like last game, is gonna be off camera for the most part. Uh, and, you know, when necessary, I'll bring it out uh, to the camera and uh, show it, all right? And I've also gone ahead, uh, I've also gone ahead and set up the enemy uh, AI decks, all right? And their spell decks as per um, scenario instructions, all right? Uh, it tells you to create these um, uh, AI decks for the first and second uh, army that you're going to face. Uh, and then the spell deck. So that's all uh, on the side, all right? I removed them from the decks before setting up the uh, decks, okay? Uh, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, you have to defeat the the uh, both armies. Uh, and the heroes. One interesting detail here is that the enemy heroes don't move. All right. Uh, once you find them, uh, they're just gonna sit there, and you have to go confront them. Okay. Uh, 
Um, so uh, without further ado, I think we can now uh, go ahead and get started. Uh, so the scenario also mentions here that um, uh, after you read the story, uh, if you discover a map tile with a settlement, read uh, Fair Feathers Guardians. If you enter a field with a witch hut or obelisk, read Crawling Underground. All right? Uh, and all right, we're going to put this aside and we're going to begin. Uh, so now uh, we are going to start with setup. Oh, and one other important detail. Uh, this scenario now has a conventional stru uh, round structure. All right, so last time it was all... Every, every round was a resource round. That's not the case this time. We're going to have astrologers predict uh, rounds as well. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, let me put my building tokens aside here and let's go ahead and uh, get started. So I'll shuffle my deck and uh, we're going to follow the round steps. Uh, so now this is the first round. And uh, as you know from the uh, players aid. Uh, we can just skip uh, steps uh, uh, one and two for the first round, and we can just go to uh, round, uh, you know, player turn. All right. So my hand limit is four. So I'll go ahead and draw my four cards. All right. Uh, I'll, and those are the resources that uh, I start with for the scenario, uh, which you can see over there. Uh, all right. Uh, so uh, now uh, let's see. Uh, we're gonna. Um, all right, we have, uh, it's, it's an okay hand, uh, leadership, really good card, all right. Um, and let's go ahead and see what we got on our, uh, and keep in mind that uh, the starting tile, you can rotate it any way you want, all right, uh, which, and that's how I rotated it on purpose, okay. Uh, all right, uh, so I'll go ahead, I have two, uh, three movement points. Uh, let's start uh, by gaining, um, uh, some income. Uh, I don't. There's not a whole lot I can do in my town. I can't reinforce. Remember that you have to build a citadel, right? Uh, you must build a citadel in order to reinforce, and I don't have that yet, all right? So I can't really reinforce my units. I need to start gathering some resources, okay? Uh, and I do have a bit. Maybe I. I mean, even if I built it, I, I don't have a whole lot that I can do. Um, uh, should I? Shouldn't I? Let's see. Uh, let me think about that. Uh, I do have some nice starting resources. Uh, I think before going into combat, uh, maybe I should do that. Uh, so, no, actually, I need more stone, all right? So that's convenient, all right? Uh, I do have some stone there that I can uh, uh, get. So after that, uh, we'll go ahead and build that citadel, okay? So as you say, movement point, all right? Let's move uh, to uh, this mine, all right? That's gonna trigger combat. And I am playing on hard difficulty, okay? Uh, like last time. Uh, so uh, level one uh, on hard difficulty, we're gonna be uh, fighting uh, against uh, two, um, uh, two um, bronze units. All right. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and move to the battlefield. I'll go ahead and draw my two uh, neutral units. All right. Uh, so uh, remember, I need to place my units first before I I see and place the uh, enemy units. All right. Uh, so let's see. All right, so I'll go ahead and place my griffins here, uh, marksmen here, uh, back here actually, or uh, let's put these guys in front. Uh, marksmen, uh, let's put them in. No, let's put them back here. All right, cool. Uh, so I think that's gonna how I'm gonna place my uh, units, uh, and now I'll go ahead and uh, flip these units. All right. And we got uh, iron golems. All right, these are expansion material uh, units, uh, and these are uh, this is this guy's uh, initiative three, and this is initiative six that goes back there. Okay, um, all right. Now they have abilities. So iron golems uh, reduce any damage from spells uh, by two to a minimum of zero, and then elves, if uh, the target is not adjacent, uh, yeah, he gets to attack again. I don't like that. Uh, so I think that what I'll do is, you know, I've, I've learned lately that uh, it's good to have a flying unit on, on this slot when setting up the army. And that way, if there's a lone uh, range, ranged unit, uh, I get to, you know, fly in and attack it, all right? Um, I did that a lot in, my, in some games I was playing on my own. Forgot about that uh, little strategy, uh, strategy, but I'll remember moving forward. So in this case, um, I think that uh, what I'll do, uh, the griffin does get to move first. Uh, let's see. Um, the iron golem, 
Uh, let me go ahead and uh, attack the Iron Golem. Uh, just, I'll just move forward uh, with the Griffin and uh, I'll go ahead and play an attack uh, card. All right. Uh, so, um, I do I want to play anything else? Uh, don't think so. Um, all right. And I do have the Shield of the Dwarven Lords in case that I want to ignore an attack roll. Uh, but uh, that's it. So three attack against the Iron Golems. Okay, I don't really have any other aggressive cards I can use, unfortunately. Uh, so roll. So that's minus one. So that's two against the Iron Golems. Uh, damage, um, and then he now gets to retaliate. Um, let's see. So uh, activated, retaliate. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's the retaliate uh, token there, and that's gonna be two damage against my Griffins. Um, I don't think the Griffins are at risk of dying for now, so let's just go ahead and roll. Alright, so that's three damage, alright. Uh, so there you go. Um, alright. Okay. Uh, and let's go ahead and put this in my discard pile. So that was my Griffins activation, then comes the Salads. Um, um, no, actually, no, the Elves, that's next. So elves, uh, they're gonna focus on attacking other um, uh, ranged units of their same level. Uh, so that's elves against this, and uh, it rolls two for um, it rolls two for uh, a penalty. All right, and if the target is not adjacent on a minus one or zero result, attack the target again. Uh, so before that, uh, let me go ahead and play leadership. Okay. Um, I want to go ahead and gain a. Um, uh, I want to go ahead and gain a uh, um, morale token, which I'll then use, all right, to draw a card from my deck. Oh, and I got a magic arrow, all right. Um, uh, so let's see uh, anything else. Uh, well, I can't play it right now because the elves are the ones activating uh, currently. Uh, elves will attack marksmen, all right, with penalty. All right, so that's a minus one, okay? Um, and with that, uh, the marksman uh, gets minus one, and uh, the target uh, is a non-adjacent unit, uh, so uh, now we are gonna attack again, all right? It gets to attack it again, but this time, I'll go ahead and give dwar uh, shield, shield of the Dwarven Lords, all right? Uh, and I'll give plus one shield to my marksman, okay? And I'll roll twice. Oh wow, two pluses, that's insane. Okay, all right, marksmen are gone, that's fine. Okay, so now um, my marksmen were disappeared and uh, now uh, the elf got to, um, let's see, where's the faction token? There, just put that there. All right, uh, this goes to my discard pile and now uh, on my turn, uh, the next one, so that's six, and then five, uh, we got the salads, all right? Uh, so the salads are gonna... Um, uh, I'll go ahead and attack the iron uh, golems, all right? Um, let's see. Um, uh, the iron golems, uh, let's go ahead and roll... Um, Actually, do I wanna? No, I can't really cast Magic Arrow yet. That's fine. So uh, let's go ahead and roll. Um, so that's three minus the two. All right. Uh, okay, and then uh, sorry, three minus one. So that's uh, it's gonna be at three damage now. Okay. Uh, all right. So that's uh, the attack on Iron Golem. This guy. Uh, do I want to move him? There's not really any need for moving him. So I'll. Put this on him, and now um, I'll let's try attacking him. All right, and see what happens with the die result. Uh, unless I get a minus one, uh, that'll be really unfortunate. Let's see. Um, okay, great. So uh, so that's two minus the one damage. The iron golems go away. All right, they don't get a chance to activate. Uh, Kind of tough, but at least uh, they um, uh, they are slow. Uh, all right, and those were all the activations. Okay.
Uh, so now um, we get to start a new round, um, and uh, I very much would uh, not like. Uh, oh, actually, I need to spend another movement point, right? Because it is a fight against neutrals. Uh, so I, um, it is a fight against neutrals. So I need to make sure that um, I spend a, a, a movement point if I wanna uh, go on for another round. Okay. Uh, and I just, uh, let's see, I don't even want the elves, uh, actually, what, what am I doing? Uh, that goes there. Uh, I want to make sure that the elves don't even get to activate. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to fight again this round anyway. So uh, I'll play sorcery uh, with uh, magic arrow, draw. All right, uh, sh should I be? I think I should be able to pl uh, play this. Um, so uh, play this card after casting a spell. That's awesome, I love this. All right, uh, so I, I cast this to deal two damage to the elves, all right? Um, and then uh, I cast spell knowledge and this will go back to my hand, all right? Um, all right, and this goes to my discard pile. And uh, so this is the Griffin's activation, by the way, and because he has six initiative, he goes first. So now, uh, please don't be a minus one. Christ! All right. <sighs> I was really hoping that that wouldn't happen, but that's... wow. Um, okay. Now he does have a minus two. Well, not that it matters, um, because... Uh, yeah, I mean, even if it gets minus one, it doesn't matter. Uh, the Griffin's dead. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's fine. That's uh, combat's been brutal. And uh, then the elves get to activate. Uh, he'll activate uh, against Habadiers, all right? Um, and no damage penalty, all right? Okay, uh, and on a zero, he gets to attack again, okay? Uh, let's see, uh, hoping it'll be a minus one. Okay, uh, let's see. All right, Habadiers are gone. And now uh, Salads get to attack. Uh, the elves. All right, and finally, uh, it's over. <laughs> All right, um, uh, that was brutal. Uh, got most of my army wiped, but we'll recover. Uh, don't worry. Uh, so now with that, uh, I win that combat. All right, I still have one movement point left. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the rewards. So I won a level one combat. Okay, that means that I only go up half. All right, and then when I fight a, another one of the same level, I'll go I'll fully level up. All right, uh, so. Now, I conquered that mine, so I get the bonus immediately, all right? Uh, I gained the two uh, building materials, so there we go, two building materials. And now I increase my uh, production of uh, building materials by two, okay? Uh, I, I do have one movement point left, so before I decide what to do with my money, let's go ahead and spend that movement point, and let's uh, reveal this, all right? There we go. Uh, all right, so uh, uh, I'll go ahead and, and commit. Let's uh, make it look like that, all right? Uh, and now uh, let's go ahead and use uh, my money somehow. So, um, all right, so I think that what I'll do is uh, I'll just go ahead and rebuild my army now <laughs> because, uh, yeah, um, I'll I can just build a citadel next round. Uh, four, three, seven. Yeah, I'll just pay the nine. That's fine. Okay, so I paid nine to bring back back my uh, army. Uh, let's see, so that's uh, so it's five, nine, yep. So I gain one gold back. Uh, and I just need to gain uh, two gold um, somehow, and then I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and be able to uh, build a citadel for the next resource round. All right, so moving on to round two. And there's one thing I didn't mention uh, earlier during setup and scenario details, and it's that uh, the uh, gold dwelling uh, for being able to recruit gold tier units, uh, you're not gonna be able to, um, you're not gonna be able to build this uh, until uh, you meet a special condition from the scenario. All right, just a heads up. Uh, anyway, so now we're gonna move on to uh, round steps. Uh, so uh, this time we're gonna move on to round two, and this this is not a resource round, but a astrologer's predict round. Uh, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna then uh, go ahead and draw an astrologer's card and see what it says. 
Uh, this one says unexpected reinforcements. Uh, each player can immediately search the neutral unit's deck and recruit one chosen unit associated with their faction for free. Uh, each player still needs to have um, uh, each player still needs to have the corresponding dwelling built uh, in the town. Right? Um, okay, that's awesome. Uh, so I suppose I'll be able to search the um, uh, the this neutral uh, deck uh, for bronze and uh, let's see which unit deck I can find that's associated with me. So that's halberdiers, that's one. Uh, can't hurt. Uh, and then is there anything a bit stronger? Oh, there's griffins, more griffins. I like that. It's basically a carbon copy of the uh, other ones, right? Uh, yeah, uh, so I'll go ahead. Oh, our marksman. Uh, more ranged units doesn't sound bad either. But yeah, I, I think I prefer the higher, um, the higher um, uh, attack and initiative, right? So we're gonna go with the uh, bronze griffins, right? So that was a nice boon. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, just making sure I'm reading this correctly. Um, yeah, this uh, I do have the bronze, uh, the bronze dwelling, so I'm I'm good. I can recruit that. So I'll go ahead and shuffle this. I recruit it for free, and now I have a duplicate griffin, which is awesome, right? Uh, this goes here. Uh, okay, so now I have another griffin in my uh, army, uh, and uh, with that, I like, let's go ahead and flip the uh, unit. Uh, pop, uh, sorry, the uh, population, uh, the population uh, token. All right, which is the only one I flipped last time. Uh, let's flip the uh, uh, the movement point uh, tokens. Uh, and now we're gonna deal with our hand. Uh, so uh, now uh, I do have my magic arrow in my hand, so then I'll draw up to four. Uh, let's see, uh, one, two, three, and four. All right, so we got, um, all right, pretty good hand. I like this hand, all right. I should be able to uh, get some stuff done with that. Um, all right, so now we move on to the map. I think we can start um, moving around and uh, conquering some areas. So let's um, uh, let's visit this. All right, so I was gonna trigger another neutral combat, and just like last time, uh, we're gonna be um, doing. Uh, we're playing on hard against level one. So two uh, two neutral units are gonna be drawn from the uh, deck. Uh, so. Uh, before I get to see them, all right. So I'm gonna just put that here. Um, uh, I'll go ahead and arrange my units. Uh, so uh, let me put these um, like so, all right, uh, like that, all right. Uh, and now, uh, now uh, so I have my hand ready. Got my two griffins. Uh, so now let's flip uh, this two. Just want to make sure. Yep, everything looks good. Let's flip these two. Okay, and uh, resolve combat. All right. Uh, so we got some troglodytes uh, and a flying unit, uh, initiative nine, and then uh, there's a gargoyle and troglodytes. All right, and this unit ignores uh, par paralysis. All right, that's fine. Um, Okay, so now the gargoyles are, are gonna attack whatever's closest uh, to them, all right, of their own. Oh, and um, I didn't realize that this has this had a different initiative. Oh well, too, too late. I thought they had the same initiative. That's fine. Uh, all right, so uh, now gargoyles uh, nine, all right. So uh, they'll attack the halberdiers, and uh, let's see. Um, do I want to defend them? If it rolls a three, um, I very much would like not to lose that. So why don't we defend the Habitiers in case the Gargoyles gets uh, lucky, all right? Uh, so let's see, um, zero. All right, cool, so uh, so that's minus two. All right, so yeah, the Habitiers don't take damage and they get to retaliate. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, put that activation token, retaliation token, this goes to the discard pile. Okay, and Habadiers get to retaliate. Um, I'm not gonna boost them just yet. All right, zero, so that's uh, two minus the one, so the, the gargoyles take one damage, okay? Uh, all right, so that was that, and then we move on to the next activation. We have uh, eight and six, uh, so eight would be the next one. 
Uh, let's attack the troglodytes with the griffins and let me just make sure they die. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Um, I don't want them to activate, uh, so that's four attack. Okay, yeah, so four minus the one, that's three troglodytes are gone. All right. So this has uh, activated, okay. Uh, then we move on to six. Also the halberdiers, yeah, I think I should have enough attack here to uh, to uh, get rid of that. So griffins uh, against gargoyles, so actually one, uh, one, two, and three. Let me move it like that, all right. Um, so attack, gargoyles, okay, plus one. So that's three minus the one, two. Yep, that was enough. All right, I like it. Uh, gargoyles are gone. Uh, and I didn't have to spend the other um, uh, point. I uh, didn't lose units. Sweet. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, now level up finally. Um, so maybe I'll be able to tackle that um, level two field in a second. It, it'll depend. Uh, so. Uh, let me go ahead and level up. So Catherine, uh, I just defeated and um, I just defeated a uh, encounter that was uh, one le the same level as me. So I only get one level ex experience point. So now I level up. We now go up to level two. All right. Uh, so we um, search to the ability deck, and now we have an expert um, token, a crown. All right that we can use for abilities, okay, for expert effects. So search through the ability deck. Now the top of the ability deck discard pile has mysticism, but um, I don't have a whole lot of spells to be honest. So um, let's just go ahead and uh, look at the top two, okay. Uh, and I have an offense card, that's great. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and uh, go with the uh, offense uh, card, all right? And this is gonna go on top of the discard pile. Um, and uh, that's sweet. I think uh, with between that and my armies st uh, st standing strong, I think I should be able to tackle that level two field, all right? Uh, so let me go ahead and move in there first because um, let me move in there first because uh, just in case I need to use another movement point, all right? Um, uh, oh, actually, and before I do that, I roll a treasure die. I almost forgot. Uh, so uh, roll a treasure die, okay? Uh, all right, so I roll a resource die, all right? Let's see. All right, uh, so I gain four uh, stone. That's awesome, all right? Or, well, building materials, that is, okay? Uh, all right. Uh, now, uh, there you go. Uh, now, um, now we're gonna move to the um, the level two uh, field, and uh, yeah, we just flip a token. I'm pretty confident. I have a pretty nice hand, and I I, I can carry out the combat for another turn if necessary. Uh, and uh, before I uh, so that's level two. Uh, Actually, level one, yeah, level two. I just faced three, three bronze units, so that's doable, right? Uh, so I'll go ahead and flip this, okay? Move over here, uh, and that's gonna trigger combat again. Let me arrange my units once more. I'm gonna put this here, uh, marksman here. Uh, these griffins I'm gonna put here, halberdiers, and these griffins are gonna go here. All right, so I'm gonna arrange them like so, and then I'm gonna. Uh, go ahead and draw three from the unit deck and the neutral unit deck and I'm gonna arrange them So we got a couple of ranged units uh, Six and five and then we have uh, skeletons, okay? That yeah uh, Okay, the marksmen are gonna be forced to attack the griffins though. All right, that's better um, Okay uh, Yeah, we're, we're gonna do this so we're gonna move here, all right? We're gonna attack the skeletons. Uh, so let's roll. Let's roll. Um, so that's for three. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll go ahead and attack the skeletons. All right. So that's a plus one. Skeletons are gone. All right. Uh, the effect doesn't matter in this case for the skeletons. Uh, 
uh, that's if um, I have the Necropolis faction, okay? So uh, Griffins have been activated, all right? No retaliation chance. Uh, all right, so that's eight. Then we move on to six. Now I, I'm the attacker, so I go first, okay? Um, I'll go ahead and move three and attack the Habadiers. Let's go ahead and go minus one. All right, so that's one, okay? All right. Uh, and I've activated, and then marksmen will retaliate. So let's do that now. They do get a penalty. So I go ahead and roll two. So the worst result goes to the griffin. All right. Um, all right. So that was that activation. Uh, then uh, that was six. Now the halflings get to activate. They'll attack the marksman. Uh, that's fine. I'll, I'll take the risk. Uh, let's see. All right. As long as it doesn't roll a, a plus one. But yeah, it's not looking good. Yep. Uh, all right. So that's three damage. Uh, yep. The marksmen are gone, unfortunately. All right. Um, all right. So I'm going to put this over here. This goes to a discard pile. This has been activated. Okay. And then I have two units left to activate. Um, so uh, let's see, the salads, uh, I want them to attack the halflings, all right, uh, and uh, we're gonna roll, we're gonna roll uh, one, okay, so that's uh, three damage, so the halflings are gone, okay, all right, and then um, uh, halflings are gone, uh, yeah, no penalties, that's fine. And then uh, we're gonna move the halberdiers one, two, and three. Okay. Um, actually, no. What am I doing? Uh, marksman activate. All right. Uh, marksman activate first. Uh, let me go ahead. Uh, so the marksmen are forced to attack uh, these. Okay. Um, and let's uh, roll against uh, griffins. Uh, yeah, not much I can do. Uh, we roll two. Uh, they do get a penalty though. So unless they roll double ones, the griffins, uh, the griffins are safe. Uh, it'll attack the weaker griffin. All right, great. So that's just uh, two. All right. Okay. Uh, and then uh, that's uh, activated. Oh, and the griffins get to retaliate. Uh, so griffins uh, survive. So they retaliate, um, and that should take care of it. All right. Cool. Uh, so marksmen are gone, and I didn't have to spend another uh, resource uh, round. Uh, sorry, another movement point. Uh, but sadly, I did lose. Um, I did lose my marksmen. Uh, I really need to get to reinforcing them when I get a chance. Uh, that's just annoying. Um, uh, all right. Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, so that was combat, uh, and that was a level two combat. All right. So we're gonna go on the um, hero uh, board. Uh, that was the same level as me, so I only gained half a level, all right? Or one experience point, basically. Um, and now we're gonna put our visited uh, cube here, and we're gonna um, uh, resolve that. So search to the artifact deck. Now there's angel wings here on top. Uh, the chosen hero get, gains plus one movement point and can move through fields without resolving them. Or I can draw a card. Now, this is very valuable, all right? Um, movement, uh, cards that provide movement points are a bit of a rarity, to be honest. I'm gonna just pick up the angel wings. Uh, again, uh, cards that give, uh, move, you know, uh, enhanced movement, like the, they're, the, they're kind of rare. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get the angel wings. This is what was on the top of the, the, the artifact, this card pile. So I'll just take that. Now, there is a rule, all right, where um, when one of the discard piles are empty for a deck, you have to replenish it by taking the top card of the discard pile from that deck and putting it there, all right? So now we have cards of prophecy on top of the uh, artifact deck, all right? But yeah, you should never have an empty uh, deck, okay? Uh, discard pile, that is. All right, uh, so um, let's see. Um, and I still have a movement point and I can get another movement point from the angel wings. Now, I think I'm gonna go in this direction, all right, uh, or I can also get a spell, that's not bad, um, but I need to prioritize gold uh, because, um, I need to prioritize gold because uh, I need to uh, reinforce and build up my army. So now I am about to gain income, which is cool, uh, so that'll help out immensely. 
but uh, so uh, all right uh, let me go ahead and first uh, flip this because I definitely want this gold right here from this mill all right so I spend a movement point to do that I visit that okay and I gain three gold and I'll go ahead and flip my uh, build token okay I'll go ahead and flip my build token uh, because I want to go ahead and uh, build uh, the citadel because I want to be able to reinforce my units. Okay, uh, so let me go ahead and get that token. All right, uh, citadel. Let's see. Um, that would be um, citadel. This one. All right. There's the citadel uh, building, uh, and I want to go ahead and uh, put that there. And I'm gonna spend. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and spend the money uh, first before. Um, Putting it into place there, so I need to spend five building materials, okay, uh, and I need to also spend eight, uh, well, one uh, valuable, and eight gold. So there you go, eight gold, okay. Uh, so now I have my citadel, and I'll be able to reinforce my units. That's gonna be of huge help, all right. Uh, there you go, uh, awesome, okay. Uh, so I got my citadel there. I flipped my uh, construction token, all right. And uh, let me now also um, spend my angel wings, all right? Uh, and I'm gonna have my hero gain one movement point, uh, and I can move through fields without resolving them. Um, now, um, uh, I'll just go ahead and move here. That'll just save me a movement point for later. Uh, I might, depending on my uh, hand, I might go ahead and try to capture that um, mine, uh, level three mine later, all right? Uh, so this goes to the discard pile. And uh, with that, uh, I, these are the cards left in my hand, no movement points. Uh, so that is the end of round two. All right, so now moving on to round three. And this time it's gonna be a resource round. So we move the round cube to number three and uh, there's no events. Uh, it is a resource round, so we're gonna gain income. So my town uh, has uh, two uh, uh, building materials income and 10 um, gold income, okay? And we're also gonna go ahead and since I have the town board here, I'll go ahead and flip it, all right? Uh, the, the building token, that is, okay? Uh, and uh, I'm gonna put this over here, all right? And uh, then uh, we are gonna flip our movement points uh, and we're gonna check our hand limit, all right? So I have, I'm at four cards uh, in hand limit. These are the cards in my hand and I'm gonna draw from my uh, deck and that's what I have, okay? Cool. So that's my hand now for this round and we're ready to rock. So um, level three, I wanna see what that entails for that settlement, all right? Uh, so uh, level three. Uh, on hard, we're gonna be facing two silvers uh, and one, um, uh, and one uh, um, uh, new uh, and one bronze. Uh, I think I might be able to, but I would definitely have to um, uh, uh, reinforce all of my units uh, before I decide to do that. So this is what how the deers will look like reinforced. Um, and uh, Griffins, I can reinforce this. All right. Uh, so he'll they'll gain more initiative. Um, and I do have a relatively aggressive hand, all right? I can deal some damage uh, in the first couple of rounds. Uh, I do have a silver unit. Uh, I think this is viable. Yeah, I think tackling that without first reinforcing my units is not a good idea. Now, before I decide on that, um, uh, yeah, I, I don't even wanna use my movement points yet uh, for that. Uh, let's for the other, for discovering the tile. Let's just go ahead and uh, uh, go into combat, so I'll spend one movement point to go here, uh, and yeah, up to before combat starts, I can always reinforce, so uh, let me go ahead and flip my population token, okay, and uh, I'll go ahead and reinforce these two, so I'll pay nine, uh, there you go, uh, so I reinforce these two fellas, and uh, with that, hopefully I'll be able to get uh, take care of this in one round, but uh, yeah, with a couple silver units, uh, not very likely. So uh, level three, hard. So it's gonna be one, um, one uh, uh, bronze and two silver. All right. Uh, but let me go ahead and place my units first. Um, let's see. 
uh, griffins, one you here, uh, one you here and here, salads, one you here, halberdiers, one you here. Um, and uh, that's it. Uh, we now uh, go ahead and reveal the units. Okay, so we got a Pegasi. Um, wow, uh, that's extremely unfortunate because I did want to use some. Uh, uh, I did want to use some effects. Uh, I, I did want to cast some spells uh, that makes things difficult. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and arrange them like so. Uh, ignore combat penalty against adjacent units after the attack. Roll two attack dice. If two minus ones result, uh, kill the unit instantly. All right. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a struggle for sure. Um, uh, so let's see. Uh, I think I'm definitely gonna have to use my uh, spell against that. Now I do have the higher priority. Okay, thanks to Griffin. Uh, so um, let's see. Um, let me try to kill that Pegasi like now. Uh, so um, uh, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, the Griffin has a higher priority. Um, I don't wanna have to discard the uh, magic arrow. Uh, so let me go ahead and give, um, uh, let me go ahead and give uh, offense three. Um, okay, let me go ahead and. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go with this. Uh, so I'll go, I'll go ahead and do the expert effect. I'll give it plus two and draw a card. All right, this goes to my hand. All right, um, and um, I can reroll a treasure die or another die. That's all right. Uh, so that's five attack uh, against the Pegasi. Um, let's well, let's hope for the best. All right, awesome. So the Pegasi is gone. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and put this over here. Uh, and oops, uh, let's put this in the discard pile. Uh, the Griffin's activated, okay. Uh, and uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's then. Um, uh, so that's uh, Griffin's. Now then, the next uh, one is this. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, I want to. Um, use. I'm definitely gonna use magic arrow against uh, the gargons, right? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this uh, like this, uh, and I'm gonna use magic arrows empowered. Uh, so that's um, with one power, that's two damage. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, and then uh let's go ahead and attack it uh hope for the best all right uh let's see zero so that's uh one all right and then the gorgons get to retaliate okay and uh yeah it, uh, unless they get minus one it's over for the griffins uh yep so griffins are gone uh, from retaliation um uh, and uh let's see uh this has retaliated uh, then, uh, so that was uh, eight, um, yeah, that was eight uh, initiative, and now uh, we're gonna attack, uh, we're gonna, we have six, right, so six, uh, the evil eyes uh, is gonna try attacking uh, the salads, um, uh, yeah, that's, si that's simple, uh, or actually, no, um, evil eyes only, they, they'll try attacking units of their same um, of their same uh, tier first. Uh, so closest one is Griffins, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, no penalty. Uh, do I want to defend them? No, they're not at risk of dying just yet. So let's go ahead and uh, roll. There we go, minus one. Uh, so that's uh, just one damage, okay? Uh, no retaliation. All right, so that was six. Now we move on to five, all right? Uh, so I get to activate uh, my salads first. Uh, I'm really hoping this attack will land. Uh, I need anything but a minus one, <laughs> please. Uh, please, 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 please. Good. Uh, so yeah, the Gorgons die, all right? Uh, so that's the three damage minus the two shield, and uh, the Gorgons are dead, okay? Um, all right. Uh, Gorgons go there. Uh, perfect. And we're gonna put a uh, activation uh, token on that. 
All right, so I forgot to put a activation token on that, but yeah, my halberdiers can't quite reach the evil eyes, so we just spent another um, movement point to prolong the combat for another round. We remove these uh, activation uh, tokens, and then uh, I get to um, activate my griffins. Uh, let's um, see if we can kill it. Uh, let's see if we can kill uh, that evil eyes in one swing. Uh, so we roll. Uh, with the griffins, uh, minus one, so that's gonna be uh, one only one damage, okay? Uh, and then the uh, uh, evil eyes gets to retaliate, and it doesn't have a combat a combat penalty as per its effect. So we just roll one, minus one, so that's uh, one damage, okay? Uh, all right, there we go. Or we can just flip this. All right, love that. Uh, so yeah, we've activated, we've retaliated, uh, then six. Uh, it's forced to attack uh, a, a unit next to it, okay, uh, and with a uh, with a combat pen without a combat penalty. Let's try defending the Griffins, all right, uh, and let's see. Uh, zero, so with the one, uh, so this goes up to three. All right, awesome. Uh, and now the Griffins get to retaliate. And thankfully, uh, you know, I don't have to pay the cost to reinforce them again. I think I should be able to take care of this this round. So they get to retaliate, all right. Uh, let's roll, uh, so that's three plus one, yep, that takes care of the evil eyes, and with that we've completed this combat, all right, evil eyes are gone, uh, let's put that here, um, let's see, let's put this here, uh, okay, so that completes combat, uh, sadly I lost my duplicate uh, griffin, uh, but, uh, well, it was worthwhile, I did um, conquer this mine, all right, so, uh, all right, so I defeated something that's a one level higher than me actually because I'm at level two So I get to go up one full level. So I I gain two experience one two all right from my hero board here uh, And I did use my uh, expert ability, but now let's look at our uh, level up chart, right? Uh, so uh, Let's see we have level three uh, my hand limit increases to five and search to the ability deck. Okay, so let's do that. Um, scouting, uh, play this card before taking a search action. No, I'm not interested in scouting. That's what's at the top of the pile. So uh, let's go ahead and um, just uh, look at the top two. All right. And uh, armor, spells from the school, uh, Earth School of Earth Magic. I don't have a whole lot of spells once again. So I think Earth Magic doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I'll just keep armor much simpler. All right. Uh, goes to my hand, okay, uh, there you go, and I'll go ahead and put this, and remember when you uh, conquer a mine, you gain the gold immediately, so let me go ahead and gain my five, there we go, okay, um, and I still have one movement point left, so let's go ahead and reveal this tile, okay, uh, all right, uh, so, ooh, we got a, uh, which is, uh, well, a watchtower, all right, we got another level three, level two, uh, we can get this for free yeah i like all of this uh, so let's go ahead and place it like so i'm pretty sure that's what i want to do yep uh all right cool uh so that's all of our movement points and uh that was uh a, a bit of a quicker round uh, and before i forget let me also go ahead and increase my uh, town um gold income to 15 all right thanks to the mine that i conquered all right and uh, with that, that's the end of round three. All right, so now we move on to round four, and this is gonna be an astrologer's predict round. So let's go ahead and check out what um, astrologers say. Uh, so astro astrologers proclaim week of the ammo, ammo card. Uh, until the next astrologer's round, each ballista deals plus one. Uh, damage and each first eight tenth heals plus one uh, health and each ammo card also uh, allows for rolling one attack die for ranged units uh, so that is related to uh, the uh, uh, siege engine expansion uh, from uh, the uh, rampart um, from the rampart expansion yeah, so this is what it's referring to. Uh, I don't own any of them because I haven't bought any. Uh, you can again, you can buy them for some gold, all right, uh, from uh, from trade posts when you stop by them. I'm not planning to do so anytime soon. Maybe later in the game, all right. 
Uh, but uh, yeah, like I said, I didn't integrate expansion content, so that's why this shows up there. But in this case, this um, this wasn't useful, uh, so uh, I'll uh, I'll just go ahead and put it back. Uh, if I do end up getting a siege engine for whatever reason until the next astrologer's round, uh, I'll remember to bring it up. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna uh, start flipping our uh, tokens back. Let me put my expert effect token back. Uh, and I'm gonna flip my population token back uh, to this uh, and I'll go ahead and draw my hand cards so these are my two cards in hand and my deck is empty so I'll go ahead and uh, reshuffle draw up to uh, five all right there we go which is my current hand limit um, now let's see uh, not bad all right uh, not bad uh, so uh, now let's go ahead and uh, use our first mo movement points, so um, let's see. Um, I think I should definitely be able to conquer uh, uh, be because of uh, all of this. Uh, I can uh, I can move around a lot uh, this uh, round. Uh, let's, um, uh, there's lots of possibilities there with that, that's what I'm saying. So uh, I can conquer that keep. Um, Let's first see what I get from this treasure die, all right? So I'm gonna uh, flip uh, this uh, movement uh, point, all right? And uh, combat doesn't take place doesn't take place because my um, my uh, army my hero level is higher than this, so I'll just put this here, and it's immediately uh, visited, all right? Uh, quick combat takes place, uh, and uh, now uh, I roll two uh, treasure die and choose one of the results, all right? Uh, so let's see. All right, uh, so we have, um, I can pick either a resource, uh, I can roll a resource die or, or I can search to the artifact deck. Uh, why don't we do that, all right? Let's uh, pick the artifact, the result, and let's see, we have cards of prophecy on top of the artifact uh, deck. Um, mm, sure, why not? You know what, sounds fun. Uh, let's go ahead and pick the, the cards of prophecy. Uh, let's see what happens. So uh, then, uh, once again, as I mentioned earlier, because uh, there's no cards left in the discard pile for that deck, I now have to put a card from the top of the deck so that the discard pile is not empty for the artifact deck. Uh, Ring of the Wayfarer. All right, we'll look at that later if I need to gain an artifact. Okay, so I've gained that card. I've used a movement point. And I'll go ahead and flip this, all right, and I'll move here, all right. So I'll gain an experience point. Um, so now my hero will level up uh, to, um, my hero will level up to uh, level four, thanks to that, all right. Uh, so let's look at our chart once again, all right. So let's see, level four, add a second specialty card to my deck, and I can now, uh, I now have one extra expert effect, all right, so I'm gonna put this nearby, uh, near my hero board, and I get to add the second specialty card uh, from my hero, all right, so let's look for that, uh, and this is level four, yeah. Uh, so now this is the Crusader's uh, specialty uh, card. Uh, for this combat, the selected unit has one increased health, all right. Uh, I really do, ne do need to get my Crusaders uh, ready, uh, all right. Um, Let's see, I have one movement point left. Let's go ahead and flip this uh, here, all right? Uh, and uh, we're gonna move over here, um, and uh, I'm gonna gain a um, positive morale token, all right? And another movement point. Um, so with that, we've visited this field, okay? Uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and flip this movement point uh, once again because uh, I want to go ahead and conquer this, all right? Uh, so uh, I wanna go ahead and conquer that uh, and that'll let me, um, uh, that will let me, uh, let me put my faction token there. Uh, because I am level four, quick combat takes place, so I just gain control of that. So I gain one of these uh, resources immediately, and then I increase my income, uh, my income to uh, of valuables to one. All right. Uh, and with that, I've lost, uh, I've run out of uh, movement points, uh, so uh, we can now move on to the next uh, round. Right. So that was a pretty quick round. So we're now uh, gonna go ahead and. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure there's nothing else. Uh, I don't really want to construct anything uh, right now. 
Uh, I don't have a whole lot of resources anyway. Well, or could I? Uh, holy grounds. You know what? I probably should, uh, so that I can get my, um, uh, so that I can get my. Oh wait, I don't. I don't have enough resources. So I should. All right. All right. I'll figure it out. Uh, okay. So now um, let's go ahead and just move to the next round. Uh, so uh, we go to the round steps. Um, let's see. Uh, there's no timed events, um, and uh, all right, income. So this time it's a resource round. So we move on to round five. Uh, this time it's a resource round. So I gain fifteen gold. All right, let's do that. I gain fifteen gold. Uh, there we go. All right. I also gain two building materials. All right, so three minus one. Okay. Uh, and then I also gain um, uh, I also gain one valuable okay all right uh, and let's go ahead and flip my uh, population not population movement tokens and now we go to my hand so uh, my hand limit currently is uh, uh, five uh, and I have an excess of cards so I have to discard down uh, let's see uh, use this effect on after the attack die roll. Ignore, yeah. Uh, this adds some certainty to the attack die. Uh, uh, the dice results uh, lock. Um, uh, let's see, uh, armor, leadership. I definitely want to keep that. This is pretty flexible. Yeah, you know, I like that this is instant. I prefer uh, pro cards of prophecy. So I'll discard uh, these uh, two cards. All right, uh, there we go. So lock and. Uh, the salads card. Uh, all right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and spend my first uh, movement point to reveal this tile. All right. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna put my tile like that because um, uh, currently there's just no way that I can face a level four or five uh, encounter. Uh, I barely just have some bronze units. Uh, I'm really hurting for some. Um, uh, I really need some. Um, you know some silver units right which right now it's starting to become a bit of a problem right uh because currently i need my holy grounds right uh, and in order for me to build my uh, holy grounds uh, i am missing um uh, i am missing one uh valuable all right so let's see if there's something that we can do about that um i don't even know if i might be able to face that encounter uh, this turn but let, let's first um evaluate that let's see what spell comes up all right so i'm gonna go ahead and spend another resource point and this uh lets me uh, you know look at two spell cards so let's see we got firewall not interested uh, so i'm gonna just go ahead and look at the top two and pick one all right so we got blind uh, and then berserk Yep, uh, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and keep Berserk, all right, so let's go ahead and put Blind on top. Uh, so that gives me another spell for me to deal with issues uh, this turn. Uh, I'll also, uh, let me see what else I draw from the top of my deck, all right, so I'll use Expert uh, Leadership, all right, uh, actually. Um, uh, let's see, so uh, before I do that, actually, um, uh, let me... Uh, so I can draw cards. Uh, let me go ahead and use my lead morale token to draw a card. All right, let's see. So that's a defense right there. Uh, and um, I'll draw another two cards. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and use uh, leadership. I'll draw two cards. All right, attack, knowledge, and I'll put, um, I'll put, uh, attack and knowledge, and, and I'll get um, another uh, leadership, uh, morale, not leadership, a morale token. I keep calling it leadership, morale token. Um, all right. Um, and now, um, let's see, so that's 10, 8. Um, yeah, I don't know that I'll be able to, uh, I mean, I can try, but I'm just so short on you, and it's uh, kind of sad, actually. Um, um, let's see, um, um, yeah, I really don't think there's just a whole lot I can do with this hand, so here's what I'll do, um, let's go ahead and, uh, flip the population token, okay, 
uh, and I'll just go ahead and recruit the secondary hero so that um, I'll paint the 10 gold. Uh, I'll recruit the secondary hero so that um, I'm able to uh, I'm able to uh, roll that resource die. I just really need that gold. Um, I really need that gold. Um, uh, I really need that gold. Oh, sorry, not that, that valuable. Uh, I really can't do much without it. Uh, so let me go ahead and move him here. I'll roll uh, the treasure die. All right. Let's see. Okay, we get three gold, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use cards of prophecy and I'm gonna set this to a uh, one. All right, gives me that, and uh, I'll be able to build. Uh, uh, so yeah, I'll be able to that way build a um, uh, build a uh, holy ground. Uh, but I'm not gonna have a whole lot of gold to do with it, sadly. Um, I can't quite face the. Uh, keep in mind that the hero, the enemy hero, doesn't really move. So uh, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and put this uh, hero there to uh, enemy hero to represent it. But uh, in this scenario, it doesn't move. Uh, in other scenarios, I would you know the hero would would move to me and attack me, whether I like it or not. So uh, I don't have anything to do with that uh, movement point. I mean, I suppose I'll go ahead and move to the sanctuary. Yeah, and in the in the sanctuary, I can't be attacked. Uh, but yeah, that doesn't really matter for now. But just because I didn't have anything else to do with the movement point, uh, I'll go ahead and move there. Uh, but yeah, I'll keep this in my hand uh, for my next turn. But yeah, I'll just go ahead and pass. Nothing else I can do. Uh, I mean, I know that I'm gonna get destroyed if I attack those. Uh, I, I I can't really attack right now. So we move on to the next. Um, astrologers round. Uh, so let's see what uh, comes up. Uh, let's see. Uh, so a uh, big cleanup. Each player may immediately discard all cards from their hand and draw the same number of cards. All right. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, so uh, I already. Uh, let's see. Uh, I already this. Well, I mean, it's not like I discarded them. Uh, I knew that I wasn't gonna do anything with them. So yeah, uh, I had these cards in my hand, so I'll go ahead and discard three and draw three now. See what comes up. All right, there you go. Um, uh, all right, uh, and then my turn starts. Uh, all right, so as astrologers claim, uh, nothing else I can do on my round. Let's flip these, all right. Okay. And a couple things I can start doing. So let me move my uh, secondary hero, all right, this way, one, two, all right, uh, I need to start revealing map tiles in this direction, um, and uh, I didn't flip my population token, uh, which I, uh, I went ahead and did that, all right, um, flip my population token, get my, um, get my um, uh, expert effects back, and let's then um, see this card and draw, so I have to discard down to five, and if there's anything else I can I want to discard, I have to do it now. Uh, but I'll go ahead and keep magic arrow, um, knowledge, power, um, and then attack, uh, and then the shield of the dwarven lords. I'll keep that. All right. And uh, I'm not gonna draw up more. And yeah, I have those three movement points, but like I said, uh, I really can't move anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna have to waste them. I, I really need to wait for that next round so that I can uh, recruit some silver units. Uh, I really can't just take on that army. So what I'll do now is, uh, before I end the round, let's go ahead and uh, build, all right? Uh, let's build, uh, I'll, um, uh, I'll go ahead and go to my town and uh, I'll build the, uh, I'll finally go ahead and build the, um, uh, where did I put it? Uh, there we go, holy ground. All right, so I'll go ahead and build holy ground, okay? Uh, so I'm going to pay my eight, three, three, and two. Okay, three, three, and two. Oh, wait, do I even have enough? Uh, did I miscount? Oh, no. 
Uh, I don't even have enough. Actually, no, I do. All right, yeah. So I have exactly what I need. So that's uh, uh, three, uh, and then nine, uh, for Holy Grand, that's six. All right, well, not exactly, but yeah, I have to, what I need, though. So, so, and then the three um, valuables, okay? And I'll go ahead and build my Holy Ground, all right? Uh, there we go. So I build my Holy Ground, uh, flip my construction token, and with that, I'll finally be able to recruit um, silver units on my next round, okay? Uh, but yeah, I can't use those mov movement points, sadly. Uh, so uh, we move on to a resource round, okay? There we go. Uh, resource round, we flip these. Um, I flip my uh, construction token. I'm not going to discard and draw. I already have, have my hand how I want it. Uh, but I'll go ahead and collect my resources though. So uh, I have uh, two building materials. So uh, let's do this, okay? Uh, one value, one valuable, and then fifteen gold. All right, there we go. Fifteen uh, gold like that. Okay. Uh, so with that, I can finally now recruit some. Um, some gold units and see if I have a chance at this uh, with that first hero. So now let's, uh, okay, so I've gained my resources, uh, but I wanna go ahead and do the following. So uh, I'll go ahead and move to here with my secondary hero uh, so that I can trade. Uh, and I'll go ahead and sell, um, uh, I'll go ahead and sell uh, these, uh, uh, for gold, all right, because I'm just in dire need of gold, so that's five, all right, uh, I'll go ahead and gain five more, uh, so that's gonna give me ten, okay, uh, and um, I will keep this for later, though, so for if I'm, I can hopefully recruit a uh, gold unit, uh, but um, now I'll go ahead and flip my population token, all right, I'll go ahead and flip my population token, and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, let's see, I have uh, 20 gold I can spend. So let's spend the first uh, six uh, with the uh, Crusader, all right? So that's gonna be six right there, okay? Uh, so I have a couple of uh, silver units finally. Uh, that's very, very helpful. Uh, so um, I think the other thing that I'll do is uh, I wanna flip one of these uh, face up. Um, so let's go ahead and flip the Crusader face up, all right? Um, yeah, let's go ahead and, and let's go ahead and flip this guy up. So that's gonna require ten. Uh, and uh, and then uh, I'll go ahead and uh, so the, uh, I have four. Um, I think I'll spend three to get the. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, where are the marksmen? All right, let me get my marksmen uh, for three, all right? Okay, uh, all right, so with that, uh, I think, and that in my hand, I think I should be able to tackle the hero, so let's see how that goes, the enemy hero, that is. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. So now with my hero uh, movement, I'll go ahead and attack the enemy hero. So the first army, uh, well, before I reveal the first army of the enemy hero, let me go ahead and place my units. Uh, so uh, they are, uh, I'll place them like this. So marksmen back here, crusaders here. Um, there we go, like this, all right? The first overlord ar army that we need to face, we have a... Um, pack of uh, troglodytes, we have uh, a pack of evil eyes, uh, we have a few minotaurs, and a uh, few manticores, all right? Uh, and uh, for the enemy uh, deck, uh, we have, uh, I already built it, it's supposed to be three might cards and two magic cards. And uh, I have the enemy spell deck here, which is two magic arrows and two stone skins, all right? Uh, so I'll go ahead and uh, place that there, okay? Uh, that is the enemy uh, um, uh, setup. Uh, I just need to now add the enemies in order. So we have the evil eyes back there, all right? And uh, in order of initiative, we have this, okay? 
Uh, all right, so now we begin combat. Uh, let me go ahead and spend my leadership token. I have initiative, uh, the highest initiative with the Griffins. So let me go ahead and draw a card. All right, uh, good. That's very helpful. All right, uh, so I have all of these cards. Okay. Uh, now uh, I do have two expert effects that I can use. Uh, and that Manticore needs to go, uh, like really fast. So I'm definitely gonna attack that first. So uh, let's go ahead and um, try to tackle that Manticore before it even acts. Uh, after that, the uh, evil eyes will be acting, but let's see. So um, let me go ahead and give Griffins, uh, let's do an, um, let's do, plus two uh, or plus one so that's five i need to deal seven uh so let's see so let's go ahead and do uh just the plus one uh let me then draw a card all right we got another attack card that's awesome uh let me do another attack card all right so that's five uh and no expert effect yet okay but uh i think that what i'll do is um Let's um, let's have five. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, cast a magic arrow uh, with uh, spell power, all right? And I'll also do an expert uh, knowledge, all right? So uh, that'll deal two damage to the Manticore, all right? And the um, the magic arrow will go to my hand. Okay, all right, uh, all of this will go to the discard pile. So that's five damage against the Manticores. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and roll for the Griffins. Okay, so that's the five damage that I uh, needed. Uh, so uh, minus the one, that's four, and the Manticores are gone in one swing, okay? Uh, and that was necessary because uh, nothing in my army has that much uh, attack damage. I could not let that even act, okay? Uh, but yeah, uh, there's nothing else I can do now that the evil eyes will act. My griffins have activated. Now the uh, evil eyes, let's see, let me just double check the initiatives. Yeah, okay, so now the evil eyes act for initiative seven, and we draw an AI card, and we have cast a spell. And uh, I'm playing on uh, hard or expert, so it'll get one, uh, one, uh, uh, spell power and uh, uh, cast the unit with the highest shield uh, for uh, if it's the player's army um, uh, let's see uh, if it decreases the unit statistics uh, if uh, yeah uh, okay yeah uh, the unit with the highest shield so that will be the crusaders so crusaders will take two damage all right from magic arrow okay uh, all right there we go uh, so uh, that, that was the uh, enemy AI uh, turn, uh, well, the uh, AI card, and now Evil Eyes will attack, uh, let's see, uh, it'll be this guy back here, all right? Um, and it'll be a, um, it'll be a, uh, it'll be with a penalty, all right? Um, so let's go ahead and roll. Okay, so that'll be three damage, so the uh, marksmen are gone, all right? Okay, so now uh, that was the enemy AI activation, and now uh, there's six, let's see. So we have initiative six. Uh, we have these crusaders, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and attack the uh, minotaurs. I wouldn't like for the minotaurs not to activate at all. Uh, so we're gonna try, um, let's just go ahead and cast a, uh, a magic arrow, all right? Uh, and remember, normally you can only cast one spell, all right? Uh, but because I did the expert effect of knowledge, I increased my spell limit by one, all right? Uh, so I did a magic arrow to the Minotaur, and uh, let me also go ahead and do a... Uh, attack and let's make it expert all right so that's uh, six okay uh, and that should be enough to kill it even on a minus one all right uh, so uh, minotaur is dead all right uh, we um, yeah so that's six minus the two four yep 
uh, that is enough. So Minotaur is dead. Uh, Minotaur doesn't act. Uh, this guy uh, activated. This goes to a discard pile. So that was six, and then we go to five. Uh, so I have there's two fives, and then the troglodyte five. Okay. Uh, so I'll go ahead and move to attack the troglodyte first. Uh, so I'll go ahead and roll. All right. So that's plus one. So that's four. All right. So he'll flip, and then one damage. Uh, and then the troglodyte will get to retaliate, okay? Um, not to be confused with an activation. So retaliation, zero, uh, minus the one, that's one damage, okay? Uh, and now, the uh, normally the troglodyte would have been able to now act, but because I flipped him, his initiative is now four, which means that my salads get to activate, okay? Uh, but after, if the troglodyte survive, then the salads will get, uh, uh, then the... If they survive the sellout attack, then the troglodytes get to activate. But go, uh, I'll go ahead and attack with sellouts. Uh, all right, yep, yeah, attack with sellouts. Troglodytes are dead. All right. Uh, so uh, I, and now all units have been activated. Now we move on to another round. Uh, and yeah, the only unit that was able to activate was the evil eyes. Now keep in mind that because this is a combat against a hero. Um, I don't have to spend points to prolong combat. That's only with neutral units. Okay. So now we begin a new round, uh, and we again start in order of initiative, all right? So I'll go ahead and move with the griffins, uh, in with the griffins, and let's attack, uh, let's attack uh, the evil eyes. So that's a plus one. Uh, so we'll flip the unit, all right? So that's four minus the one of shields, um, and we flip it to this now, okay? And then the evil eyes uh, get to um, uh, they get to uh, act, uh, retaliate, all right, against the griffins. So now I'll go ahead and give the griffins uh, plus one shields, all right, and um, that has a combat penalty, all right. There you go. So uh, with the plus one shield, thankfully, um, well, I think they still flip, do they? Uh, so that's plus two, uh, four minus the one. No, actually, no, it's three. All right, good. Uh, that's why I gave it that shield, because I didn't want to have to flip my uh, griffins, okay? Uh, all right, but that was the retaliation attack, all right? Uh, and then, um, yep, so that's uh, four minus the one. Correct. Uh, so now with that retaliation, now we move on to, so that's nine. The next uh, initiative is uh, six. So... One, two, and three, all right, so Crusaders will attack the evil eyes, all right, plus one, so there you go. So we have um, we have succeeded in this combat, all right, so the evil eyes go away, and uh, the, this hero has been, this enemy hero has been defeated. Uh, there's no story, uh, and you don't gain experience, all right, the scenario doesn't specify that you gain experience or anything, uh, so... Uh, I now begin the race to head back because, uh, you know, I'm kind of running out of time and I only have so much movement for me to reach the uh, other uh, enemy army, all right? Uh, so I'll go ahead and use my other two. Uh, let me go ahead and clear the battlefield, all right? So I'll move this uh, damage uh, out of here. Uh, let me remove the enemy uh, stuff, all right? So this was the first enemy army. The spell deck is shared by both enemies, so uh, I'll go ahead and get the uh, I'll go ahead and get the uh, enemy uh, spell deck here, and this is the old enemy deck. All right, there we go. Uh, so I get my army back, okay, uh, and uh, with that uh, that ends uh, combat. So uh, I now spend um, uh, I now spend one point to because uh, I only spend one point moving there I spend one to move here spend another one to move in this direction okay uh, and that ends this round all right so uh, I don't really have anything else to do with my points so we move on to the next round let me go ahead and flip my um, uh, uh, population token let's flip the movement points let's get the 
uh, expert effect cubes out of my heroes board uh, and uh, let's now draw up to five all right uh, and let's let's move to the astrologers round that's supposed to happen first uh, so astrologers say groovy satyr until the next astrologers round whenever you trigger combat with a neutral unit uh, you may choose a neutral uh, unit to discard and draw another one of the same tier instead all right um, I don't see myself seeing combat uh, this round, uh, or actually um, until the next astrologer's round. Okay, so it might this might actually come in handy in that case. So now um, I go ahead and draw up to five, right? So I had no cards left in hand, so I draw one, two. I shuffle my discard pile, and then I go ahead and draw uh, up to five, okay? Uh, all right, uh, so there you go. Okay. Um, all right, so now we go ahead and um, Let's go ahead and use this hero uh, Movement point from my secondary hero to reveal this style. Okay, let's see and there is a uh, there is a um, there is a story element from when you reveal uh, this tile that has a settlement, all right? So I haven't placed the tile yet, okay? But let's go ahead and read that. Uh, so it, uh, there is a, uh, it's one called Fair Feathers Guardians. Uh, so I'll let you read the uh, story element uh, for when you do this scenario, but uh, the mechanical importance of this is uh, when fighting a neutral army on this settlement field, Add a pack of Medusas to the enemy army. If you capture the settlement, ignore the standard bonus and build the glory of Erathia town building for free instead. All right. Uh, so um, now uh, I so this is a level three, right? And remember, uh, well, uh, one thing to note is that the secondary hero is the same level as your main hero. Um, for purposes for the purposes of quick combat all right so I'll be able to conquer that um, uh, that um, settlement uh, immediately all right so I'll go ahead and flip this to just conquer it now all right and uh, let's look at the settlement uh, you know again when you conquer it now not, um, in this case we're gonna ignore uh, we're gonna ignore the bonus all right uh, okay, because we we get because uh, it's level three, uh, where our hero is level four. All right, uh, we get to just do quick combat. So uh, we no combat. We just conquer the settlement immediately. All right, uh, but we ignore the first time uh, bonus. All right, as per the scenario rules, I'm gonna choose gold obviously because I'm kind of starved. I'm kind of starved for gold to be honest. So. Let's go ahead and choose gold and let me put my faction cube on that. Okay, there you go. Uh, and um, now, um, as I mentioned earlier from the scenario bonus, we're gonna go ahead and build the glory of Erathia uh, for free. Okay, uh, so there's the glory of Erathia and that is awesome because I'm now gonna be able to recruit uh, gold units uh, once I get some gold, okay, uh, uh, for my army. Uh, and now I'll also spend the three uh, movement points, okay, uh, to move over here. I'm not gonna be able to do that, um, to do this uh, field, okay, this field right here, because I don't have gold. Now, when you step on a visitable field like that, even if you can't or don't want to uh, perform what happens in that field, all right, uh, or do the field effect, you still have to put a visited token in it or a visited cube in it, all right? Um, uh, but those were all my movement points, all right? Uh, and uh, this is uh, my hand. Oh, actually, no, I do have one more movement point I can do. Um, I'm gonna save my extra movement point uh, for later, all right? Uh, for now, I'll just go ahead and leave it like that. So uh, let's go ahead and now move on to the next round. So we move on to round number uh, number nine, okay, uh, and this time it's a resource round, so um, I forgot to increase my resource income from the settlement earlier, so that's five from earlier, so now I'm gonna get 20 income, okay, uh, so I get my, I get my 20 gold, and 
Um, I also got my two building materials, okay, and my one valuable, all right. Uh, so that's my income, and then let's go ahead and flip all of this, all right. And I didn't use any expert effects last time, so I'm good to go. This astrologer's proclaim effect is still uh, active, okay. Now, all right, so first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and flip this uh, token so that uh, I can move uh, that, that movement point so that I move my secondary hero to this field. Uh, so I'll put my visited um, cube there and I'll go ahead and gain my three gold from that field, okay, from that windmill. From that windmill. Uh, then I'll go ahead and spend another movement point to finally reveal this final tile, okay. Uh, and I'll go ahead and place it. Um, so I'll go ahead and just put the spell here, okay, uh, so that I can draw a spell uh, when the time uh, comes. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, uh, let's go ahead and move, um, uh, let's go ahead and move uh, my main hero uh, one, uh, two, okay, and this auto resolves, all right. It's quick combat because it's a uh, uh, higher. Uh, um, it is um, you know my hero is higher level than that, and I get to dig two for the artifact deck. Um, let's see. Um, not interested in this. So there's a card currently on top of the discard pile. Not interested. So I'll go ahead and draw two. Okay, and uh, pick one. Oh, reinforcement cost of a unit. Is reduced by five to a minimum of one. Uh, wow. Well, this is the obviously better one, but it's nice to see a card that that facilitates some gold uh, economy there. So I'll go ahead and go with the um, uh, loins of legion. So this will go here. This will go in my hand. Okay. Uh, and let's go ahead and place the enemy hero there. Uh, and uh, there we go. So now uh, I think I might be able to get away with a couple more things here. Uh, now that I can. Um, uh, now that I can um, um, uh, recruit at a lower cost, uh, but let's see. I really just need like two more gold. That's just so unfortunate, but let's see. Um, let me go ahead and move another point here, okay? Uh, and, um, and that'll give me a half or one experience or half level from visiting that field, okay? And uh, I don't think there's anything I can do with the extra movement point this time. Uh, so uh, I would rather save that movement point for the last battle. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, discard. Um, let's see. Uh, I think I just want to go ahead and recruit now. Uh, Reduce the recruitment or reinforcement cost of an end. Yeah, I think I just want to get the uh, Archangel. I think that's just the best thing I can do. So let me go ahead and flip my population token. All right, so I'll go ahead and fl flip this. Uh, I'll go ahead and just use the Loins of Legion now. So I'll go ahead and recruit the um, Archangel. I recruit Archangels. Uh, that's going to cost me 15 because of the Loins of Legion. All right, uh, so that's uh, 15. Um, so let me return five. Okay, so I return five, all right, and I do pay the one value. Okay, so there is that part of my army. Uh, this goes to my discard pile, uh, and I do still have this amount. Uh, so let's see. Um, I can't really uh, increase uh, anything other than. Um, uh, I mean, I could, but that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to, for me to buy Marksman this late into the game. So I'll just keep the gold. That's fine. Um, uh, okay, so yeah, I have nine, but nothing I can really do with it. So um, that's my army right now. Um, three more gold than I could have. I would have been able to um, to uh, uh, reinforce salads, but oh well. Uh, so uh, that's the end of this round. So now we move on to the next round, and this time it's gonna be an astrologer's round. Uh, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, move the round uh, cube. We're gonna flip these tokens, all right, 
uh, flip flip and now uh, let's um, uh, let's flip also the population token and this time it's an astrologer's round so we put this away we draw a new astrologer's card each player gains a negative morale token that sucks um, but okay all right um, Wake up each player against a, a yeah that's a negative morale token <laughs> all right wow all right that's unfortunate okay uh, and now do I want to discard any cards uh, and uh, draw yeah I definitely want to um, before doing that I'll go ahead and play um, uh, I, I should have probably done this earlier but that's fine so I'll go ahead and discard uh, this card I don't, I'm not really interested in defense. Uh, discard. Uh, Rerolling sounds good. Uh, so yeah, I'll discard those three and I'll, I'll go ahead and draw one, two, and three. Uh, wow, awful cards. Awful, awful cards. So, all right, yeah. Um, I, I hope I do well in combat because these cards were awful. But, uh, all right, so uh, now, uh, no resource round, but, um, all right, so now we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, move, because I uh, before I decide anything else, I just want to go ahead and see what spell I get, okay? So we're going to move our main hero this way, and we're going to look at the top two of the spell deck, all right? Uh, let's see what we have. So we have the spell and Mirth, all right? So the spell remove all ongoing effects from a space or a unit uh, and the space it occupies, all right? Uh, we're gonna be we're not gonna be fighting a lot of bronze cards so this doesn't help a whole lot right now and then you can reroll each of your attack die once during this activation this combat round uh, or this combat uh, this can actually come in handy so I'll go ahead and play uh, this all right I'll keep this uh, and this uh, I'll go ahead and discard all right so that was the spell we got from visiting that okay uh, and now um, I need to go ahead and activate my population token. I want to see if I can go ahead and get my champions because I don't know that I'll really stand a chance uh, with what I have right now. Uh, my hand is kind of poor, to be honest, it's not the best. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, figure that out. So uh, right now I have um, uh, nine gold. So yeah, I think that if I move my secondary hero here, I can then just sell this and gain the goal that I need. Uh, so uh, let's uh, go ahead and move, um, let's go ahead and move uh, using these two movement points, uh, one, two, all right, uh, to uh, this trading post once again. And um, I'm gonna exchange this. Uh, if we look again, uh, we did this before, the exchange rate, I'm selling uh, one of these valuables. So I get three gold and then I get one gold per each building material. So I'm going to gain five gold, okay? Uh, all right. And uh, that's going to get me to at least being able to buy the champions, all right? So that's my five gold right there. Um, and let's... Um, um, now, I can also get rid of cards in hand. I don't know that I'll need that extra gold, uh, but we'll see in a second. So uh, with the champion, so I'll go ahead and flip my population token, all right? And um, let's see, so that's 12, right? So that's, uh, I've got the 12 right here. So that's nine gold and then three more, right? So we got our champion. So this will, uh, you know, this will give us more chances, right? Now there's two gold left. Uh, not really anything I can do with that gold, to be honest. Uh, so I'm not even gonna bother getting rid of the lock card. Maybe uh, I'll be able to discard something later for an effect. Um, there's also, keep in mind, uh, there's the, war machines all right which you can buy uh, from the rampart expansion uh, the lowest cost one that you can buy from a trading post is um six all right the first eight tenth i would have liked to buy that but um i just don't have the gold uh, that's kind of cheap i, I it would have been nice but uh yeah uh, that, that really is it i can't really do much else um before i jump into combat let me also go ahead and do my expert effect on uh, leadership to gain a couple extra cards so leadership uh, ex expert uh, i draw two cards all right so let's do that all right so we got shield of dwarven lords and attack uh, and then um, i would gain positive morale but because of the negative morale that i have i just lose that instead all right 
Um, so I have a better army now. I have a okay hand. We'll see where that goes. Uh, uh, and then um, uh, and then yeah, uh, we'll just see what happens. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and um, uh, use this movement point to attack the enemy hero. All right. So this is the last enemy hero I have to defeat before the scenario ends. So let's see how combat goes. Uh, so the enemy hero, let's see the army that I'm going to be facing. So according to scenario instructions. All right, so this is how I'm going to uh, arrange my army. I I'm leaving the harbardiers out of this one. Okay, so I'm going to put them to the side. Uh, and now uh, we're going to set up the enemy AI. So we have the enemy's spell deck. Okay, uh, and we have the AI deck, uh, which... Um, it's supposed to be three might cards and two spell cards, all right, according to scenario setup. Uh, and then the enemy is going to be um, uh, putting this in front of me. So we have uh, Black Dragons, that's the highest initiative, okay, from the enemy army. Uh, then we have Minotaurs, uh, a, um, uh, a pack of miniatures, the Minotaurs, that is, at uh, initiative eight, then initiative seven for the Manticores, and then Evil Eyes. Initiative seven as well. All right, uh, but that's it. And now uh, combat begins. Uh, so um, let's go ahead and uh, now that I have uh, archangels, I'll go ahead and draw a card. All right, uh, and that's berserk. All right, that's awesome. Now I just want to get rid of the dragon at all costs. I only have one expert effect uh, to go with, or uh, you know, to uh, to. Uh, enhance, um, so, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to go with that. So with the archangels, I'll go ahead and attack the black dragons. Uh, I'll go ahead and give um, attack. Um, so let's see. Uh, can I? I can't deal eleven. Uh, I can deal seven, three. Yeah, I mean I can't deal eleven, but I'll go ahead and just give it the enhanced attack. All right, so that's eight damage against the black dragons. Um, and let's just hope for the best, all right? Uh, so let's roll. Okay, so that's zero. Uh, so that's eight minus the three. That's five damage against the dragon, all right? Not bad. This goes to my discard pile, and we now put an activation token on this. Dragon will retaliate. Uh, so let's um, let's roll for the dragon now. I want to defend my archangels. So I'll go ahead and give it plus one, and I'll draw a card, all right? So that's another offense, uh, and we roll. So that's plus one, so that's six against the three armor. So uh, my archangels take three. And then uh, the dragons will uh, activate properly, all right? So we draw an AI card, and that's attack, okay? Uh, that's attack, uh, so we're gonna put that there. Uh, I can't really uh, give, uh, oh shoot, uh, I forgot to play a Berserk, that's fine, I still have a chance to play it. But um, uh, yeah, even if the AI rolls, uh, well actually, uh, so we're playing on Expert, so it'll give it plus one, so that's seven. Um, I think my, so that's seven for, uh, yeah, unless it rolls, a plus will be fine, but I can use the uh, shield of the Dwarven Lords if that happens, all right? I do want my Arch Archangels to retaliate. So let's see, let's roll that. So that's plus one, right? So that would be eight minus the three. Now, normally that would kill my Archangel, but I do have shield of the Dwarven Lords, right? So I'm gonna cancel this uh, die effect, okay? And uh, the Archangels will be on the brink, uh, right? So that's uh, seven minus three, that's four. Uh, so now um, the Archangel still has one life left, but now it gets to retaliate, okay? Uh, so we're gonna, um, we're gonna go ahead and roll, all right? Uh, see, uh, so that's minus one. Uh, so this goes away, all right, for now. Uh, so that's minus one. Uh, so that's five minus minus the three. Uh, so now can I reroll? You know what? I do want to do that. So why don't we do that? Let's reroll, all right, with cards of prophecy because I, I just want that dragon to be gone already. So um, let's see. Um, yeah, uh, as long as it's not a minus one, that's fine. Um, 
now let's see plus one much better all right so with cards of prophecy uh we now uh we now have uh a seven minus three that's four and that gets rid of the dragon all right so that is a relief okay uh, so we're gonna get rid of that. Uh, so I already feel pretty good about that. All right, so that's, that was initiative 12 and then 11. We move on to initiative nine, that's the next highest. All right, so I'll go ahead and just put Berserk on Evil Eyes, all right, uh, which will make it attack the nearest unit in its turn. Then I'm gonna move the Griffins to attack the Minotaurs. And uh, I'm not gonna boost the uh, uh, griffins in any way now i'll go ahead and before i forget let me put my crusaders uh, buff on crusaders so that um they gain plus one damage okay uh, so let's see um now griffins will attack minotaurs and uh we roll see if we can land a hit all right so at zero minus the one uh, so that's one and then the minotaurs will retaliate okay plus one, so that's six, uh, we flip, and two, all right, uh, there we go, so Minotaurs have retaliated, uh, and uh, so that was initiative nine, we move on to initiative eight, uh, Minotaurs will attack, uh, so uh, there isn't a silver unit that they can reach, so they'll simply go ahead and attack the uh, Griffins, all right, so uh, roll, there we go, so griffins are gone, uh, we put this away, uh, and now we move on to initiative 7. Now with initiative 7 we have the manticores, uh, let's see if uh, I can reach, uh, well let's see how much damage we can do to that, uh, let's go ahead and roll, okay so that's 6 minus the 1, so that's 5, alright, so that's pretty good, I wish I had had one more damage, that would have come in handy. Now uh, this activated, and then the Manticores will retaliate, all right, uh, so uh, we roll, so that's six against the two, so that's five, all right, okay, uh, so that was a retaliation. Uh, now the enemy gets to activate one of their sevens, so highest, um, highest uh, tier goes first, so Manticores will attack uh, the champions, and then uh, it'll gain plus two attack, uh, so we're gonna uh, roll, all right, so that's, uh, yeah, the champions are dead, okay, uh, all right, so we put this away, uh, and now uh, we, uh, this this goes away, uh, and that was the activation of the Manticores, uh, now there's another seven, which is the Evil Eyes, the Evil Eyes will attack the Minotaurs, so we draw an AI card, uh, cast a spell, okay, uh, and that's gonna be plus one, uh, so two against the hero that has the highest armor, which is gonna be the angels, right? So the angels are toast, okay? Uh, right, so angels are gone. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, and then uh, this goes away. Uh, this goes to the enemy discard pile. Uh, and then the evil eyes will attack the minotaurs, all right? So let's, um, let's uh, roll. Okay, uh, so that's three damage minus the two, so there we go, okay. Um, and uh, now, um, now uh, we, uh, I think this can now be put in my discard pile, uh, and this has been activated, all right. And now we move to uh, initiative six. Um, I... Let's see, uh, I think the salads can take care of the uh, Manticores. Uh, I would like the Crusaders to deal some damage to those Minotaurs, right, before they get out of control. So uh, let's roll. So that's minus one, all right. Uh, so that's three against the two damage, all right. Uh, and then uh, salads will attack the Manticores, okay. Minus one, so that, yeah, even then that's uh, enough, right? So the Manticores are gone. Uh, all right, uh, put this away. Uh, Manticores are gone. Uh, and then, um, do I want to move the salads? Uh, no, because the evil eyes activate first. I don't like that. Uh, so now, um, so now we, um, 
uh, we uh, move on to the next round. Uh, we remove these uh, tokens, all right? Uh, I don't have any cards left in hand, so I'm just at the mercy of the dice now. So let's see what happens. Uh, let's. Um, luckily, my Crusaders do have extra health, so that's uh, helpful. Uh, all right, so that's. Uh, uh, yep. Uh, yep. So it has plus one uh, health, so that's very useful. Uh, and now, uh, let's see. Highest. Uh, uh, highest uh, is the Minotaur, so we draw an AI card, all right, let's see, so uh, put this card on the unit that is to activate next, right, which would be uh, this, so uh, now we uh, go ahead and attack with the Minotaurs to my Crusaders, so that's plus one, so that's six minus the two, uh, so that's four, uh, but the Crusaders do have plus two health, okay, uh, and let's see, two and two, all right, uh, and now uh, they get to retaliate though, so uh, let's see, uh, so that's uh, four, uh, because of all the shields, nothing happens there, all right, uh, so this goes to the enemy discard pile, now evil eyes will attack uh, salads uh, with a penalty, all right, uh, so let's see, uh, we are going to draw an AI card, uh, we cast a spell, all right, stone skin, um, and then uh, AI army um, the, the with the highest shield, so yeah, that'll be the Minotaurs, so that's unfortunate, it's not looking good for me, uh, all right, so yeah, it'll attack the Zealots with a penalty, so that's minus two, uh, so the Zealots take one. Uh, now, uh, the Crusaders uh, will uh, go ahead and attack um, uh, we'll go ahead and attack uh, uh, Minotaurs, so we, uh, I'll go ahead and put uh, Merth on them, why not? Uh, so for this activation I get to reroll the die once, so let's see. And I forgot to put this here and uh, this turn. So we roll. Okay, so that's minus one. So yeah, even with, not, with all of that, um, uh, with all of that, uh, yeah, that's just not going to be uh, enough, so uh, we put that away. Uh, and uh, the Minotaurs, uh, they did already retaliate earlier. Uh, actually, no, they haven't. Uh, they get to retaliate now. Uh, let's see, so minus one, so that's uh, three, uh, six. Yeah, the Crusaders got flipped, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, and then uh, we are going to... Um, uh, activate the salads. So hopefully the salads can flip those minotaurs because it's getting a bit out of control. Let's see. Uh, so uh, finally, uh, the salads uh, landed a hit there on the minotaurs. Uh, so let's uh, flip this, okay? Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna uh, uh, we're gonna. <clears throat> We're gonna then move on to the next uh, round. Uh, so now the um, the evil eyes activates again. It'll try attacking the salads. Uh, let's just remove these. All right. Uh, let's see. So we draw a new AI card. So we shuffle the AI deck. All right. Okay. Uh, so we shuffle the AI deck. We draw one. Okay. We cast a spell. All right. A stone skin on the unit with the highest armor, all right, so it looks like Minotaurs are not going anywhere, uh, and we are gonna roll against the Zealots, roll two, minus one, so that's two, um, they already had one, so it's three, I just removed the token accidentally, okay, there you go, okay, so we put this away, uh, so that was that activation, then there's uh, six, uh, which is the Minotaur, Minotaur, Rolls, uh, we draw an AI card, all right, uh, attack, uh, plus one, all right, so that's five, uh, let's see, and zero, uh, minus a two, so that's three, all right, and then the, the Crusaders get to retaliate, okay, uh, yeah, stone skin makes it go away, all right, uh, and then um, we are going to put... Uh, this here and this here, all right, and then the Crusaders get to activate, uh, so let's just roll, all right, uh, minus one, uh, so that's, yeah, uh, I think it's over, um, 
I'm just gonna have to replay the scenario uh, so that I have some uh, uh, reinforced uh, Archangel cards uh, or or, um, or champions because uh, yeah, it's just not enough to um, to face the, the enemy at the end, especially with it playing all of those AI cards, it just kind of gets out of control. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna replay the scenario and you know I'll pick up from where I left off, um, uh, from where I left off, uh, and you know uh, do the third scenario after I bid this in this difficulty uh, with you know with the expansion stuff added. All right, uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, you know once I do that, I'll, I'll play the third scenario. But uh, right now, yeah, the one thing that caught me off guard uh, when I added the expansion content. Uh, the neutral units became tougher, all right? Just a heads up, if you do decide to add expansion content, the, this caught me off guard when playing this, right? Because all of the plays I had before were without the expansion, so I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, with the neutral deck, yeah, it's actually become tougher, right? Uh, so just a heads up, but yeah. Uh, so I, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, go ahead and put them in the comment section. And if you enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.